six times the charm. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been forever. First of all, camera issues. Second of all, I felt like I just wasn't in the right place to do videos. But I'm back now, so hopefully you should have like a fortnightly video or something like that. So today's video is going to be another vlog. I guess whenever I do these vlogs, I guess I like taking you guys on a personal journey with me. Because it's how I've been personally growing and stuff. Gosh, my hair is so crazy today. Yes, I did that. Thanks for noticing, guys. Um, so the idea for this vlog came to me because I was being really hard on myself and I also was watching a Louis Giglio sermon online. He was talking about loving ourselves and I was like, okay, I'm not very good at that. Um, so let's just say how we really feel. Like for example, with me, I always used to get scared that nothing I did would ever be enough, so that I could be easily replaced, all these things that I, I just wasn't going to be good enough. And I always just had this sort of thing because I had such high standards of myself. I never really reached my own standards sometimes because my standards were perfection and I'm not perfect. <laughs> so every time I'd fail, I'd just be like, oh, you did it again, Natalie. Here you go again. Not being perfect. <laughs> I, I guess I was scared that people wouldn't love me. And I think as girls, for example, we, we play the comparison game so so much. We see someone, we see another girl, and we're like, oh my gosh, she is so pretty. I want to look like her. And we put people on this pedestal. Like, let's just appreciate Instagram for a second. I'm a massive Instagram freak. Apologies to my friends who have actually gone out to restaurants with me and haven't been able to eat their food straight away because I've had to take a picture. So, sorry y'all. But you gotta know, Instagram's important for me, okay? <laughs> With Instagram, you just see someone's highlights, you know? You go on their profile and you're like, oh my gosh, they have such an amazing feed, aesthetic, hey -o. Like, at the end of the day, it's just their highlights. It's not what they're actually going through. You don't know how hard it is for them to get out of bed in the morning. You don't know what kind of daily struggles they're facing. You don't know they could be going through the biggest battle in their lives at that time, but they don't show it on their Instagram feed. And I think that's how it is with people in general, even when we look at them and we're like, Oh my gosh, I want to be that person. You have no idea what it took for them to get up that morning. At the end of the day, we put everyone else on a pedestal and we put ourselves like down here. We don't really love ourselves. As Louis Giglio was saying, first commandment is to love God and the second is to love your neighbor as yourself. Sometimes we are so focused on loving God and loving other people, but we're not so focused on loving ourselves over here. And I've come to realize like, the most important relationship besides God in your life is yourself because you are most influenced by you. You hear the voice of you the most. You spend the most time with you. At the end of the day, you're more influenced by what you think than what anyone else thinks. I mean, it can be influenced by other people, but you're the one who chooses to believe those things. And I think one point that I really want to touch up on is that other people are not your medicine. And it took me years to figure that out, but at the end of the day, your security isn't going to come from your friends, your family, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. It's not going to come from them. Your worth isn't going to come from them because people are always going to let you down no matter what because we are humans we make mistakes all the time you can't rely on someone else and depend on someone else on this earth to give you your worth and i realize that other people are not my medicine i put my trust in god i know that my worth isn't in any of these other people in my life and another reason why i guess i did this was because whenever i not perfect I beat myself up so much and I'm like, dang flabby Natalie, there you go again. I'm so hard on myself for failing. It's not healthy. I'm not the only one who goes through that. It's like I said before, you are not a failure. Failure is an act, not a person. And I sometimes tend to struggle taking it myself. So I guess the question is, how are you doing with you? I think that we have to come to terms with loving the person in the mirror. So like I said, I was watching this Louis Giglio sermon. It's not like a self-help sermon or anything like that, but um, he just gave out these seven points to help you love yourself more because like obviously we focus so much on loving God and loving other people but loving ourselves is so important as well and I really took these points on board and I think they're amazing and it's okay by the way if you guys don't believe in God like that's totally fine I'm just speaking from my own perspective and how I feel about things so number one was you should look in the mirror and say you know, I love you. It's not because I'm this amazing person, but because the God who created me is amazing and he doesn't make mistakes and I'm not a mistake. Take care of yourself. Let yourself heal. It's okay to take care of yourself. Number two, 
I'm thankful for you. Look into that mirror and think, no, you haven't been perfect, but I'm thankful that you are here. I'm thankful for everything in my life, for all the, the trials and the challenges. I think it's so important to be thankful for the things around you. Number three, you are rare and beautiful. Like you might think, oh, you know, there's so many other people out there who are better than me. Well, stop thinking like that because you are one of a kind. There's no one else like you in this world. If you were in a museum, you'd be the Mona Lisa. We were fearfully and wonderfully made. I think that's insanely cool. Number four, this one is the one that I always found the hardest and it's I forgive you. And I always just found it so hard for me to forgive myself because I had such a high standard of myself and when I didn't reach that standard, I just got so mad at myself and used to think, no, you can do better than this, Natalie. What's wrong with you? Why aren't you this? Why aren't you that? Like beating yourself up, first of all, isn't gonna get you anywhere. It's not gonna change your future. It's just gonna harm you if you just keep constantly beating yourself up. Just recognize the fact that you've made a mistake. At the end of the day, Jesus was beat up for me, so why should I beat myself up? Nobody's perfect. Sorry, little uh, Hannah Montana moment there. Come on, let's face it, we're all Hannah Montana fans. Number five, I have a special purpose on this earth. Like, you were created for a reason. You're not the one who created yourself. So you are here on this earth for a purpose, and I think that's amazing. I know that some of you are like, oh, but not, I only, I'm only working in a cubicle. Oh, no, no, I'm only going to school. You can make an impact wherever you are. You can make a difference wherever you are. God has plans for you, and that's so freaking cool. Number six was, have a high standard of yourself. Don't you do what everyone else does just because you want to fit in. Do what is best for you. If all your friends are going out drinking and they're like pressuring you to, to come with them and you don't want to do it, then just don't do it. It's your life. Do what is best for you. Even when you have this high standard of yourself, also have grace for yourself that when you don't reach it and if you fail, that it's okay. Have grace for yourself. Still love yourself. It's okay to not be perfect. Just be different. Be yourself. And finally, number seven is I believe in you and I'm cheering for you. And I think it's so important for you to be cheering for yourself. It's so cool to finally at the end be like, wow, you did it, Natalie. That's amazing. It's me talking to myself here. That's amazing. You finally did it. It's so important to cheer for yourself. Even if you can't get all seven of these, can you get at least one? I'm not trying to make this video to just be all about yourself, but it's just so you can be the best version of yourself. I think when you love yourself more, you can give more of yourself to other people. You can love God and love people better and you can appreciate who God created you to be. For me, the other day, I looked at myself in the mirror. I thought, she's just desperate for someone to have compassion on her, to have kindness and love for her. And if it was anybody else besides me, I'd want to do that for them. So I was like, why can't I do that for myself? I just decided to have grace for myself and think, you know what, Natalie, yes, you are not perfect, but that's okay. It's important to be kind to yourself. Be kind to others, be kind to yourself. So yeah, I guess I thought I'd share that with you guys today, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it at least helped one of you. So if you guys have any suggestions or anything that you want me to do video-wise, feel free to tweet me or comment or whatever. Bye, love you all. I feel so empowered. Pink shoes. Woo!